application, Yan 2000 LLC, doing business as Flame Hot Pot and Szechuan Restaurant. Eddie Shaw. Shaw, thank you. Manager has applied for a common Bittler license at 1001 Mass Ave. Said license if granted would allow food and non-alcoholic beverages to be sold, served, and consumed on said premises with a proposed seating capacity of 85. Proposed hours are 11.30 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. seven days per week. Good evening. Good evening. If you could both please state your name for the record, spelling your first name and last name, please. Sure. My name is Eddie Shaw. First name if you could speak up a little bit. My name is Eddie Shaw. Last, last name spelled H-S-I-A. First name spelled E-D-D-Y. My name is Eddie Shaw. First name is G-O-U. Wait a second. My name is... Say your first name. G-O-U. G-O. G-O-U. G-I-N-H-U-I. Spell your last name again. G I N. G O G I N. H U I. I still don't have this right. G O U G I N. G I A N. Last name is that last name is spelled as Z and zebra. Z O U. First name spelled as J I N. H U I. Thank you. If you can tell us about your plan. Uh, we're actually starting our furniture business right at uh, 1001 Mass Avenue, which uh, used to be uh, the place was operated as an Asian restaurant, and uh, we are renovating the whole interiors and keeping the outside same, you know, starting up a new concept. And you said this was an Asian restaurant before? It was an Asian restaurant. I think it used to be named was Roka, R-O-K-A. Uh, so is that still in the old VLF space? No. No. I think they moved up to Boston, the other side of my family. So are you in the basement part? We are in the basement. All the way to the far right? Lower level, all the way to the middle section of the Is this your first time operating a restaurant? Uh, no. <clears throat> Can you tell us about your background? Uh, I've been working in the restaurant for over 15 years. My family used to own a restaurant in Connecticut. It's uh, part of the city called Farmwell. And after that, I've been uh, working in a variety of different Asian restaurants. You know, uh, The reason one is uh, they call Panda East restaurants in uh, Amherst. Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Massachusetts. Panda. 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 Yeah. As a manager of that place, until we started renovating the place, I kind of more concentrate on the place right now for the renovations. And what made you pick this particular location? First of all, I have to tell Jing is my uh, business partner. He lives in Quincy, and uh, he found the, the space over in 1001 Mass Avenue is available, so we took a chance, you know. And besides, I really like the city of Boston. And city of Cambridge? Yeah, Cambridge. <laughs> I always, I always get sick, kind of consideration, you know, Cambridge is, uh, I really saw in New York City, you know, but like New York City, you have five boroughs. Right. Like Brooklyn, you know, Queens, we all consider it like say, part of New York City. But it's really a different boroughs, you know. I don't want to offend you guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the setup of the space. I know I saw the architectural <clears throat> renderings. Are you having... Is it open cooking? What is it? It's uh, actually, uh, it, it will be cooking in inside the kitchens, you know, for the central food parts, you know, but we're also offering the hot pots, you know, which you cook for yourself, you know, like the, when you, when you, uh, like, you know, at the tables, you know, we have a, like, special table made, you know, in the center of the tables, there's a hot pot, you know, the, uh, they call induction stove, which you just set a pot of glass, you know, at the tables, and, once, once the process is heated up, you know, then we put, like, customers, customers order a whole bunch of, uh, like, small portion of uh, different things, 
they have like meats, seafoods, you know, all type of vegetables in their, you know, preference, you know, if they want more seafoods or they want more meats or more vegetables, you know, that's uh, all their preference, but they, in order for them, you know, experience the real cooking, you know, at the table for them by themselves, you know, they can bring to the boss, you know, which they already have the flavor it, and we have set on site with the different sauce bars, like probably 18 different kind of sauce, you know, they can, they can scoop like mix by themselves, like garlic, you know, uh, sesame sauce, or type of peanut sauce, or whatever. But, but uh, the session dish also, you know, which is going to be prepared hot, cooked hot inside the kitchen, brought it up to the customers. So they have more choice. Either they want to do it at the tables, or they can do it, you know, they can order, you know, to the servers, you know, and by placing orders, you know, they can cook it up from the kitchen. And the kitchen's already built out? Yeah. Is it a full kitchen? That's a full kitchen. Are you making any changes to the kitchen? No, we don't. So your, your table cooking is an induction? It's an induction. It's so all you will uh, list it. Mm -hmm. So you have special pots set up to be to trigger the induction, or is it on all the time that, that how the, the pots are set up? Put the material on the bottom so they automatically heat up when you put it on the... They, they are the switches. You know, the induction the induction stove, we got it, you know, it's made, you know, it's UL listed, but they are kind of switches, you know, when, when they order, if you don't bring the uh, pot itself to the induction stove itself, right, it won't heat it up, you know, right, they so advertise at the TVs, you know. Right. But once you put the pot, it's kind of works like magic, you know. So there's Easy. something in the pot, so when you right, put it on right. the thing, it, it only heats it only when heats that pot is on the top. Right, right, right. You remove it right. within a minute, it's very, it's very right, right, right. When, okay. when you When you are cooking, if you touch on the side, you know, it's not hot. Mm -hmm. Only the pot, it, it's, you know, heating. Okay. So they're like a crockware uh, ceramic yeah. pot? So, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's... There's no open flame at the table. There's tables, no open flame at the table. What's up? Yeah, it's because we do considering, um, you know, customer safety, you know, for the, uh... So do you have to do much work to the kitchen? Or is this... Um, we have to get all the new equipment. Okay. And you're aware about the, the hood? Right. The hood was there already. Okay. It was uh, pre-existing hood. You got to make sure you get right. it's the, approved uh, as of before you get it moved into. Um, right. It's uh, you know the ENSO system going to be the new ENSO system going to be put in. So we already have uh, the uh, company set up. You know, okay. Once, come, once the uh, equipment comes in, right, and it'll come to installing all the nozzles. You know, make sure it's facing. Each, uh, okay. Some of the laws have changed since that place was done. I want to make sure you're right, right, up, to, right. up to date on that. I think uh, my builders, you know, general contractor did a good job. You know, he kind of models every single course. How far along with construction are you? Are you already started? It's uh, started about a, a month and a half ago. Okay. So we I think uh, hopefully middle of August will be by end of this month, you know, they will be finishing so hopefully middle of August will be open. Okay. 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 To middle of August. Right. And it's a seating capacity of eighty five. Eighty five. Most of us, you know, uh, weekends at 11, 11 30 to 11 30, and the weekdays is from 11 30 to 11. Yeah, right. 
I just sent out some, yep. some, some of them come back, okay. came back to some of them, and I also included a copy of menus. that we approve the CV license for Yon 2000 LLC doing business as claim hot pot and restaurant at 1001 Mass Ave with a seating capacity of 85 uh, with the hours of 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. Is that correct? Uh, Sunday to Thursday, yes. And then 11.30 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. for Friday and Saturday. Friday, Saturday. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. You're all set. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.